Welcome back to the University Report. We're here with Brenna Ryan today, daughter of Wisconsin basketball coach Bo Ryan. Thank you for being here today, Brenna. No problem. Thanks for having me. Alrighty, we're going to start it off um, by asking you, what's it like to be the daughter of one of the most recognizable head coaches in the NCAA today? Well, I don't really think of him as being recognized. It's just kind of weird when we go out in public to get together and random people come up to us. So that's just a little different, but it's been going on for a few years, kind of. Yeah, get used yeah, to get it. Used to it sort of. It's still weird. Yeah. All right. And what's it like to go to the NCAA basketball tournament and see the Badgers advance so far? Well, it's a lot of fun. Um, every year we lose seniors, so it's always sad. You want them to keep winning, so when we do lose, it's just like losing more family because you become so close to them and their families, and they go away, so the more they stay in it. Yeah. I mean, this year they're not losing too many seniors, though, so that's good. It's just Bruston and Bohannon, I believe. Yep, and Evan Anderson, too. Okay, and Evan Anderson. Okay, so a lot of people are saying that they might make another run next year. What are your thoughts on that? Oh, I think so. Think so? I think everybody thinks so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it might be a little biased here in Wisconsin, but yeah. whatever. We'd all like to see it happen. Mm -hmm. And what was it like to share that experience of seeing your dad in his first Final Four? Well, when he went to a few Final Fours here in Platteville, I was so young I don't really remember. So being 24 now and actually being, I know I'll remember this forever, it was really special. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, and you brought some photos of you and your dad from the tournament. Why don't you tell us a little bit about those? Okay. Um, well, you know, with Snapchat going on, I took a lot of selfies mm -hmm. with him, of course. And then we got a family picture together after the game, after the win back in his hotel room with my mom with, you know, their hats on. And, um, yeah, they look pretty cool in their hats, huh? Yeah, I, I saw a few of those. <laughs> we on always our, put our hands in to do Team Ryan. Yeah, you know? yeah, I saw a few of those on the Media Studies Facebook page. Somebody put them up there, yeah, so nice. that was neat to see. Uh, what's it like to grow up in a coach's household? Well, you definitely try not to get in trouble, <laughs> tell you that. Yeah. You don't want a coach yelling at you and when the coach is your dad, too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that, that's understandable. And were you ever coaxed into basketball by your father? I wasn't. Was I was able to do what I wanted, so he never cared if whether I did or not, whatever made me happy. Gotcha. And why did you chose to go to Platteville for college? Well, I chose to come here because I knew a lot about it, and I knew that even if I felt like I wanted to go home, I had people here that were around when I was younger that are still like family, so mm -hmm. I knew it would be a good environment for me to be into. And it's not too far from Madison. Yeah, it's either, not far so. at all. It's an easy yeah. drive. Yep, yep. And what type of influence did your father have on you as a child? Well, basically, again, to do what makes me happy. He's always stuck with coaching. Um, and to, you know, always do the right things, because obviously, again, don't ever want to get in trouble. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all righty. So is there anything else you might want to add to this before we take a break? Oh, boy. I don't know. Just look out for the Badgers next year, I guess. Yeah, I agree with you there. <laughs> All right, stay tuned to the University Report. When we come back, we're going to have Josh's Treat of the Week. Stay, stay tuned.